Hi guys, welcome back to another new segment here called What's Up Wednesdays. I uh, thought I'd give you a little um, insight into what's going on for this uh, What's Up Wednesdays. It's basically going to be me kind of um, coming in through every week and just uh, pretty much just saying what I've um, what I've played, what I've finished, and pretty much what I'm going to play. And um, yeah, just some other information. So without further ado, we'll get into it here. Uh, so this week, um, as you can see here, I've got the games that I've played. I'll leave those ones to last because we'll see um, exactly which ones because I've got a little bit of... um, I, I do a lot towards uh, game score and completion. So I am currently sitting at 90.6% completion and not that high of a ratio on true achievements. Um, basically, I'm over... I'm 1.4... Well, 1,040,000. I believe that's where I'm sitting currently at the moment because I've just completed a couple of games this week. Uh, there is something on True Achievements at the moment where you can take down bosses with certain True Achievement score. So that's a cool little thing that I'm a part of at the moment, and that's um, really making me up my gamer score quite significantly because I'm really trying to boost towards at least the top five, but really I want to be at least number two. I don't think I can get number one because number one Neo Master is quite high. I could, but I think he's dedicated um, a lot of his life to it. So I play it quite a lot, but I'm very OCD with completing things. So I play games to pretty much completion unless. Um, they're just ridiculously hard or the servers get turned, turned off or anything. So yeah, without further ado on this one here is, um, so the first one that I played is a platformer. You're going to find a lot of, a uh, uh, bit of, um, basically pretty much a lot of platformers and stuff like that. Um, due to the fact that East Asia Soft, Rattle Acre, all of these games make very easy thousand games. Like when I was playing first started, it was Xbox 360 and you had to work for your thousand. Like we're talking minimum. 10 hours unless you're playing avatar the last airbender which is about five minutes for the four thousand and fifa 2006 road to world cup which is another easy thousand with the glitch and of course fallout if you're playing it on pc you can easily keyboard every achievement and just go add achievement one up to 79 i believe it is so yeah these ones are pretty easy in comparison um, um like for and some of them can take five minutes some of them can take 10 minutes normally they're around about 30 to an hour so super penguin boy with this was the first one um nothing much to be said about this this was an easy thousand and it also had three dlcs to it uh three add-on packs so therefore that was a four thousand and they're all free add-on updates at retro later and uh, east asia soft games do so super Pen uh, super penguin boy was four thousand and that took me around about 30 minutes 40 minutes and that was an easy platform very easy not much to it next one is 10 seconds to win now that one there is another platformer worth three thousand of course with the red lakey games again as i say i might say it one i'll say it for the last time here Basically, that they do the thousand, and then maybe a couple of months later, I'll add another thousand, and then I add another thousand. I'll just do it per levels, and nine times out of ten, considering you complete the game, like say 50 levels for the thousand, when you actually go back to the game, you normally just jump into the game, log in, and get the achievement straight away. So it only takes about two seconds to pop all the achievements sometimes. But yeah, so 10 seconds to win, that was a 3,000 platformer there. Another one here. Um, which actually goes off relatively a very retro game called Frogger, but it is nothing to do with Frogger. That's a weird. It's called Froggy, a retro platformer. Now, when I heard that, I instantly thought, well, it's got to have something to do with Frogger. They're saying retro on it. Platformer's a bit weird because I wouldn't call it a platformer. But, uh, yeah, it's nothing. Nothing like it. It's just another platformer that runs a 3,000 gamer score. So that's um right there. See, you're looking at that. That's, um what's that? Six, but that's 10,000 gamer score just on three games that take maybe hour to an hour and a half to complete so pretty easy to complete these ones next one here was um bff or die now some of these titles make no sense bff or die i mean best friends forever or die but the thing is i guess it's got something to do with friendship because you've got to help basically you walk along it's a puzzle game you walk along the thing um a puzzle pretty much a maze and you've got your mate as you're the right trip you're the left trigger for your for your guy walking, and the right the right um, thumbstick is for the person flashing the light. Later levels, it's for grabbing things, and it's also for controlling drones. So, it's I guess it's called a twin stick, but it's not really. It's an um, easy game, thousand score. Sounds pretty easy. Now this next one here was a little off grid. It's not an East. Um, it's not an East it's Asia Soft game or Rattle Lake. It's not an actually easy thousand. It's relatively easy. I mean, if you kind of understand the physics of um, Stuka and pool which i played a lot of pool games and snooker games so i kind of am a little bit accustomed to it this one was out the gate like, i'm talking none of the like you could hit it the exact same way twice and it would have worked like exact same way so it definitely has a little bit of adjustment to get used to um cool part about it is when you're playing snooker if you sync the i don't actually realize it's not really snooker it's like they call it eight ball or nine sorry nine ball nine ball or die yep a nine ball pocket slot 
so yeah basically um if you sink that nine if you say say you're on a low number say you're on a three and you've got right in front of you a nine and you can sink with that three you can sink that you sink that nine done you finish the level so it's pretty easy if you can get that i only done it once or twice it's not too easy but every two or three shots if you get two in a row if you get three in a row you start gaining more points so by the end of it i had about 20 shots to make on level 10 so that was pretty easy that's the part that everyone really um suffers with getting to giving past level 10. so i only did that because i'm also part of other um, every month i join all these gold targets on true achievements and one of them was that was for having a thousand in the game of, and, and sports titles which i very rarely play sports titles actually speaking of that ea they can they can suck it. I, I hate EA. I can't stand EA. I used to wanted to boycott them years ago, but after this week, oh man, that's it. Um, basically, I tried. I, I was like, you know what? I want to play a bit of golf. I was going to play the EA Masters, and then I was like, why not play a bit of football as well? I haven't played that uh, FIFA since about oh, fourteen, I think. So I thought, why not play the new FC twenty four? Here's a kicker to it: you have to be logged on to EA login. Now I set this up years ago when EA fourteen came out. I set this up a long time ago. And basically, um, yeah, I can't remember the password. Uh, the email attached to it is an uh, email I haven't had access to in, well, what's that? 10 years. So <laughs> in the last time that I played a product, yeah. So I try to ring up, um, I try to ring up uh, my ISP and say, can I please get it? They're like, no, you don't have enough information. I'm like, for information, what, what information do you need for a, an account that's been cancelled over 10 years ago? And the email is non-existent. In fact, last time I rang you guys, you changed it for something that happened with Facebook because my Facebook was linked to it. Now I'm just basically after dealing with Spark and basically ripping my hair out with a Filipino person that could barely speak any English, I started to get um, really annoyed. And in the end, they kind of basically said that it's my fault. I did apologize in a sense to her. I did feel sorry for her because I was kind of barking down at it. And I used to work in call centers and I know how that horrible that can be, but she just wasn't helping in any way, shape or form. Even when I was working call center, I gave them the, what would you call it? I kind of gave them a glimpse of hope that I was, that I could help them. Like, you know, at least you kind of help them through situations, but this lady just was not helping at all. So long story short, um, I don't work with EA anymore. EA anything, um, I will basically boycott all their games. I really did like FIFA and I was really looking forward to playing the Masters. So yeah, no loss. I won't play that at all, at all. So yeah uh next one here is space wing war which is a shoot 'em up now i love shoot 'em ups i'm also trying to get into the top five for shoot 'em ups which this and the next game that i'm about to play should push me into the top five but there is another guy fighting for that um fighting at the fifth spot so yeah it's quite fun i enjoy shoot 'em ups i've got a lot of shmups um i do like bullet hell games but they can be a little bit tedious on the brain like especially with um with your vision, you can start going a little bit blurry, kind of like flight sims. Uh, it tends to be a little bit too fast for my eyes, and I guess sometimes I don't keep up. I've got 20-20 vision. I've got no problems, but um, I do occasionally get problems if I steer right into the peripheral of my vision, and sometimes I can get a bit of a headache from it. Not entirely sure why. I've gone to the doctors about it, and they just say it's something that could happen. I thought I might need glasses. Turns out, no, I'm 20-20 vision. So, yeah. So, they can be a little bit intense bullet hell games, same as, um, I mean, the flight sim games, I just, I get sick. I think I get motion sickness, so, but shooting ups, I'm all good. Bullet hells can kind of um, sometimes go to hell, <laughs> depending on what you're playing. I mean, some are fun, some are fun. But yeah, the next one here is, um, oh, and that's Space Wing War. I will say that it's an X, it's, it's optimized for Xbox One or Xbox Series X or S. Now, here's the ticket to that. You go to play it, the first pickup you get, which is an achievement, it'll lock your game out and you can't play it. Looked online and people are suffering from the same thing. So the only way that I could complete this was take going over to my mate's space where I'm, at the moment I have my Xbox One currently set up so that we can do Just Dance. Um, I went over there and just quickly done a 1,000 on that one. It's a very retro style. It actually looks very Game Boy-esque. It's got the black and white color palette. Um, you can actually change the palette of that. I changed it to purple to give it a bit more soothing on the eyes. Uh, yeah, but other than that, it's a very, very basic shooter, but relatively fun. And next one here is Tuaga Among Shadows. Now, this one is quite fun. I'm really enjoying this at the moment. This is another shoot em up. Uh, I've only got 232 out of the 1,000 because it's you've got very odd um, numbers, but it's real fun. Like Instead of a shoot em up, you're basically locked to a spot. So you're pretty much sitting in the middle of this place and you've got almost like Iron Man hands. You've got photon beams, I guess, that come out of your hands, um, but they're there to exercise a spirit. So basically, you just sit there and you go, like, it's a right stick game, and left stick is when you're actually flying, you can do a bit of movement, so it's twin stick in a sense, 
but you basically go like that up and you just go like that and shooting all the enemies they come in quite fast you've got specials that get in um if you do get a little bit if too many come in you can just blast them away so it is a cool fun game um really enjoying it really enjoying the graphics the color palette the storyline it's actually quite a cool game highly recommend going for tuaga amongst um, shadows if you are going at the moment oh wait it was cheap i think today is when they change over because it was actually only uh four dollars thirty so i look out for all these games each week on the sale so hopefully um get some good ones there now to these games now this one here uh, i'll go with super mario wonder first because now this is one that i basically i look after my mate's kids um every now and then uh you know just that uh, just um especially in the holidays i look after them a little bit more but i um when i go around there i take around my nintendo switch um, play it in handheld mode and absolutely crank this game now this game is a wonderful game it, 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 if no one's played it i highly recommend it highly up there is probably one of my most favorite super mario bros um games the last one at that was super mario odyssey and that was just damn enjoyable but this brings back that platformer-esque um, rather than open world so this is fun like this is real fun it's got a new uh power up which is the elephant power up and um it can spray water on things it can hit things pretty solidly um yeah, there's, there's some cool ones. There's mine. I don't know if the mining one is a new one. I've never seen that before. But the mining one is where you go actually underneath and you can go sliding into places that you can normally not get into. Really fun game. Haven't got bored of it yet. I'm currently on, I believe, the fifth of six worlds or sixth, seventh world. I've only got one more world, one more island left. And um, and then I can open up the Bowser and go towards the end. And then once I've done the end of that, I'll go on to the special challenges, which are very difficult. I tried one the other day. Uh, that one made my hands cramp up. Uh, but then I found out the easiest way to do it, instead of playing like that. Because you've got to basically hold X. No, wait. How does Switch work? Yeah, X and A. No, is that Xbox? <sighs> it's so confusing switching between it, especially oh, because B, A, X. I'm pretty sure it is B, A, and X. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's like Xbox, but Xbox uses the A button to attack, whereas everything pretty much on the Switch is with the X button, and the A button is something different. So it gets really confusing when you switch over accounts and go up to an Xbox and switch and stuff like this. But, but yeah, anyway, um, with that, you've got, you've got to constantly hold down the X pretty much to run. You want to be running at full speed in these games. very rare when you actually do slow down. They're very Sonic-esque. Um, yeah, so it gave me mad-ass bum cramps. I got carpet and tunnel doing PCs and all that stuff for years, so, and um, playing guitar, it tends to hurt. So I did find an easier way to do it, which is just to hold X. Um, well, basically, how did I do it? Oh, yeah, I just basically was moving like that and just pushing down the buttons. Like, hold the X and just like tap, tap, and it felt better. So, But then I actually played it on a uh, pro controller, and it felt 10 times better. So I think it's just the Joy-Cons that make me feel like that. But, yeah, getting close to finishing that one, so that's a real fun game. Now, this one here I've gone back to, um, I, I don't, I'm not playing it on 360. I did play it years ago on 360. I'm very close to completing it on the 360, but I didn't actually play any of the Versus or the Mercenaries. I need to go back over a full playthrough, get all the BSA mem mem emblems, because I didn't quite get more, and I think the S ranking. So I'm playing it currently on the Xbox One. It was very cheap due to a sale coming on for all Resident Evil games. So my mate's kid, um, Lucas, um, he basically was like, hey, you want to play two-player? We'll, we'll co-op for it, because the AI sucks. I agree with him. The AI did suck in the original game, gets stuck in places, and you'd have to re like restart chapters, so really annoying. But yeah, we cranked it. Um, we were trying to get under five hours to get the unlimited rocket launch. Unfortunately, we were kind of, I don't know, we we're kind of just lazing about, I think. I think we're getting a little bit complacent around about the time and not realizing it. And then, of course, the whisker ending was just like, I mean, the ending that we had was, it just took so long. I didn't realize what you had to do. So yeah, um, and I forgot from years ago when playing this. So yeah, so on that one we're currently at four hundred and sixty-five out of the sale, um, out of the fifteen or thirteen fifty, I think it is. I can't remember. Maybe thirteen hundred. I think it's one fifty each. Might be. I think it's actually fifteen hundred. No, I think it might just be a thousand for this. I think they're all added into it, but the original did have add-on. But yeah, so um, reasonable five. We're going through that. We cranked it. We've already done one playthrough of it. I'm currently going back on a single player, just kind of just picking up stuff. I most because he's not really too interested in the achievements. He just wants to complete it. So. I most likely would go back over, grab all the BSA emblems, um, figurines, found out the egg glitch. I've just got to find a rotten egg so that I can duplicate it and then continue on um, doing up every every weapon and um, getting all the costumes and everything. So it's fun. I'm, enjoy I'm enjoying it. It's not a good iteration to the series. Um, I t it fell short. It really did. Resident Evil 1 was great. Uh, first zombie really um, kind of... Um, zombie game that you can kind of think of zombie uh, third person game that you can think of and then um 
Two, amazing, hands down, one of my most favorite. Three, annoying because of the nemesis. Four, I never actually got around to playing, but I did play Code Veronica, and I really didn't enjoy that with that blue tyrant on the plane. I got stuck on that with having only a knife. So I screwed up somewhere. Um, but yeah, um, I have played. I haven't played Resident Evil 6, so five, and it you know, was okay, Marginee and all that. But then six, I never played. Seven, I loved. Now that, they brought that franchise back. Um, Village, loved it. Like, both those games are amazing. Uh, Revelations was all right. It was okay. Um, there were a couple other ones in there that were not too bad. Resident Evil Gun Survivor, that's not a good game. But it's good if you play G-Con. Like, if, if you don't have G-Con, it sucks. But, yeah, so those are all the games that are playing this week. Um, I should be able to finish Tuaga. I uh, hopefully will be higher in Resident Evil 5, maybe finish Super Mario Wonder. But, of course, I will be a whole lot more East Asia soft um, Red Lake games that I add to the mix. Um, and also, I thought I'd, I'd, show, I'd tell you on the collections at the moment. Currently, closest that I'm... Um, currently uh, closest collections that I'm um, to completing. Now, so for this one here, we've got Mars System 2. I'm currently 28 away from completing. The Saturn, I'm currently 85 away from completing. This is full PAL sets. Uh, Dreamcast, 94 away, still a while away. Uh, Xbox 360, 243. Got a couple other ones. Actually, I'm going to go pick up two today that are relatively a little bit uncommon, quite rare, and normally sit quite high, around about 30, 40 bucks. So happy to pick those up for two for 30 dollars. Uh, that was a marketplace deal, actually, really good. And uh, Wii U, 37 on there. So I haven't actually counted the other ones and everything like this because of the fact that I'm probably nowhere near. I mean, I've got like over, a, you know, I've, I've got like over 700 PS2 games, and I think there's like 2,000 or 1,800 in the set. I've got, I think, over like 400, I think, um, PS, maybe maybe 300. I'm not too sure, actually. I have to look that up. But yeah, there's there's over a thousand, um, over over fourteen hundred in that. So same as we, Wii. we's got like eighteen hundred. Just ones that I'm not going to click. Oh, I would say the game and watch because currently it's only sixty one all up. No, sixty three, I believe, with the two Zelda, the Zelda and the Super Mario new ones, which I've got. I'm currently, I believe, at twenty three, so forty more. <laughs> but that's just yeah. Egg is literally like a five grand item, so. Got a cool, got a cool pickup this week that I'm pretty happy with. A bit of a grail item, so we'll see. Um, we'll see that when we uh, get to the weeks of the episode. But for that, that's everything there. Oh, yep, that fell over. Yep. Now I'm probably going to get, as you can see, this is the first setup, making things look a little bit prettier than they actually really are. It's just an absolute garbage table. Um, I, as you can see by these, I'm holding games. Star Ocean, good game. Um, I'm basically using them. I'll get some stuff from AliExpress. Actually, if you really want to see what's behind all these ones, the goat, straight up no matter what the goat it's it's, it's over a thousand cars um cardigans favorite game so much to that game and fat boy slims effing in heaven i'm not gonna say the actual word because it'll probably get me a knock knock youtube but um yeah that was actually quite a cool cool game and this one here the help charity this is an english bundle here this one's got broken sword road rash and mist on it pretty fun games but yeah um they probably will be the same as next week depending if i get anything from team or i find any um stands to hold them up with but other than that um yeah i hope you enjoyed this segment um there'll be other segments as well i'm i'm contemplating doing um some series segments like pokemon um like mortal Kombat, street fighter things that i have a uh, resident evil Final fantasy yeah just things like that so it's getting there um slowly but surely and uh yeah, really hope you enjoyed the segment, and there'll be more of this to come. So every Wednesday, tune in for um, What's Up Wednesdays, and tune in on Saturdays for weekly pick uh, Sundays for weekly pickups. Now, my Sunday video is normally eight o'clock in the morning. With well, this one, I'll probably round about do this at eight o'clock for the Americans to kind of count as uh, a Wednesday and stuff, or the English to count as a Wednesday. But yeah, that's all done, and um, hopefully you like it, and uh, we can come back for more and um, continue this little journey on YouTube together. All right, see you guys later.